Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mike here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to record Minecraft gameplay for YouTube or any other website you want to be posting on. Okay, to start off, you're going to need three programs. First, you're going to need, obviously, you're going to need Minecraft, right here. Second program, you're going to need ScreenFlow. This is strictly for Mac, so there's a lot, there's a lot of things you can get for Mac, ScreenFlow, there's... I don't really, I honestly only know ScreenFlow, so that was a bad, that was a bad take right there. But you're also going to want Handbrake because the exporting software in ScreenFlow isn't really the best. When you upload to YouTube, it's kind of choppy, so I always use Handbrake as a separate encoding processor file program thing. That makes any sense. So what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to open up Minecraft. Let this load. Login. Then what I have in my Minecraft, so I make sure it doesn't like lag out or anything, is I have installed Optifine. So if I just go into like, here, is I installed Optifine as one of my mods because my computer really isn't the best. Now let me lower that. My computer really isn't the best. So I'm just going to drop this down. So what this allows me to do is allows me to change everything so my computer runs smoothly and I can get the highest um, highest FPS and smooth quality while I'm playing. So as you can see here, if I were to go over here, it seems a bit laggy at first because that's just the game loading, but now I'm just going to run over here, come up here, and then if I show you, you can see I'm running at 30 frames per second and 14 chunks loaded, but I just loaded the game for the first time today, so it's going to be doing that, and you see it just just keeps going keeps going up between like 40 and 20 but that will get faster as the day goes on so once you have your Minecraft open what you're gonna want to do is if your computer can handle it um, make it almost full screen not full screen exactly but almost full screen then what you're going to want to do is open up screen flow and then Mike I can't do this because I'm using it right now but configure recording and make it X. You want your computer audio, you want to select which mic you're going to use, and if you're going to, um, if you're going to want to use webcam like I'm using, select your iSight camera, or if you have a FireWire connected, use that. Then what you're going to want to do is do your recording, and then so you start your recording, play Minecraft for a bit. Wow, my computer's really lagging out right now, probably because of screen flow. Um, go into your Minecraft, say you want to record something, then you're going to want to quit or whatever, or just pause it. I'm going to minimize this for now. Then I'm going to go into screen flow, and new empty document. In your case, when you stop recording, like up here, or the command shift 2, it'll just open this up with your actual video in it. But let's just see. Um... Uh, let's see, see if I have any video. I don't have any video, so what I'm going to do is add media. I'm just going to drop this in here for the sound in the background. Then put this in. And then this. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this intro here, drag it all the way to the beginning of the timeline. Okay, that's me. And then bring this up here. Actually, Give me one second, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, so we are back to where we left off. <clears throat> Excuse me. And what I did quickly was I grabbed some actual Minecraft footage because it wouldn't make any sense if I didn't show you any. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly just delete this. Then I'm going to drag in the footage that I got right here. Make this timeline a little bigger. Scroll down. And then, as you can see, in, right here is my eyesight footage. If you used it, what you're going to want to do is you're just going to take this. I like mine in the top corner. Resize it to a good, decent size. Put it in the top corner, like just around here. Because what I do next is I select the Minecraft recording itself. And I click to crop. What you can do is you can snap to front window. And it's not going to do it right now because I haven't selected it. But what they'll do is when you take this, they'll snap it down to the top of the Minecraft page itself, like right around here. 
what you want to do is you just want to make it a little lower and add it up to here bring it up to right around there click apply this will then make this all of your editing what you're editing so then you can take your eyesight camera or video footage and drop it right to the top of where you want it resize this a bit like maybe right there now now you want to export so what you're going to want to do is like add any intros or whatever you had in the beginning of it then go to file export not publish to YouTube or Vimeo or flash just export now this it would be for um, this would be if you want to do it for a um, YouTube video like 7 720p you can also do the same thing for 1080p but since my screen size actually doesn't go to 1080p size it goes above 720 but just doesn't reach it I don't export that because then it'll just stretch out the footage instead of condense it making it look better so I do a scale to custom size 1280 by 720 don't use a lot of blocks and motion blurs only if you are using like tr little transitions here and there but when, what you're gonna want to do is going to customize settings current FPS I usually pick 30 because YouTube automatically condenses anything down to 30 H.264 um, I pick high best quality is multi-pass I'm using fast encoder for just something really quick and then click OK I keep the sound settings the regular fast art and then OK then I'm gonna export this <laughs> Let it let it do its thing really quickly. It shouldn't take too long because it's only 15 seconds. About a minute. So I'll pause the video and come back right when it's done. Okay. So the file just finished exporting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize this. And I'm, this is where Handbrake comes in. Handbrake is a really good um, encoding software. So what I'm going to do is select the file. Tutorial.move. Open it. And then I'm going to export it as a MP4 file. It's a 264 constant quality video frame rate, same as source, large file size. I like web optimize because it just allows it for quicker processing when you open something up and you pick 720p. You see down here, all of this is still 720p. And then I'm going to export this to my file where I keep everything right here. Uh, tutorial for Minecraft vids right there save it and now I'm going to start the queue well it's the only one in it as you can see in the bottom this is it's just doing its work for wondering what it's like handbrake is the equivalent to well the close equivalent of an open source for the program media Adobe media encoder 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 and it just does the same thing slightly less options but you can still get a really decent quality mp4 file meant for youtube or whatever file you're looking for as you can see this is almost done got about another 10 seconds or so i'm gonna put a link in the description on where to get all the software minecraft obviously minecraft.net Handbrake, I'll give a link in the description for Handbrake. ScreenFlow. ScreenFlow is actually $100. There are people who torrent it and get it for free using a um, serial code number, that a uh, very common serial code number. I bought mine because I don't want to get stuck in that, so I suggest doing the same if you have a spare $100, or I'm not recommending it. Torrent it if you want to have to take the chances. So once this is done, I'm just going to quit Handbrake. As you can see, my original video is right here. And then what I'm going to want to do is go into my YouTube video here. Vids. Right here, it's still there. So this is going to be full. This is going to be 1080. And then it's not going to show it because this never always shows the exact. It shows the 1080 si 720 size. It doesn't show the quality of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly jump into YouTube. There's my stuff. I'm going to go into... Now I'm just going to click upload.
Now if I were to just go to my YouTube vids and just do the tutorial, upload it, put your tags or whatever, tags, Minecraft video game, whatever you need to do, and then you have a full HD 720 or 1080p video that you could have. So I'm just going to quickly cancel this so nothing happens. And it's always going to come up with this because I use programs that it doesn't really recognize. I don't really, honestly, I don't know why it does that. It's a little obnoxious. So, well, hope you guys enjoyed. And don't forget to like or subscribe if you enjoyed what you saw, if it was a helpful whatsoever. Leave a comment if you had any problems so I can get back to you. And, well, this is Mike, and see you guys later.